for some of you in some places in the country. Um, I'm talking about gluten-free goes to the beach. And I am a beach baby. I was born and raised in Florida, and I just I love me some time on the beach. So I figured it would be an appropriate topic to talk about gluten-free going to the beach. So I just wanted to bring up the fact that sunscreen can contain gluten. And while Steely Bow and Tinsley do not encourage eating any kind of sunscreen, there are a lot of times where little hands get sunscreen on them and put them in, you know, the snack and eat it, and that's just no good. Or big hands. I could probably do that myself. Um, so I wanted to bring up one that I know for sure not to use, and that's the Neutrogena UVA, UVB sunblock, because it contains oats. So that's something to think about. But there are a lot of gluten-free sunscreens. The first one um, I'm going to mention is the Mary Kay sunscreen because it's not only gluten-free, it's casein-free. So if you are um, GFCF, that's the way to go, and you can order that at MaryKay.com. Also, Water Babies by Coppertone. Banana Boat suntan lotions are all gluten-free except the Tan Express line. And Blue Lizard and California Baby, but apparently it's a little bit pricier, but it contains zinc oxide, which better protects against UVB rays, which better protects against skin cancer. Um, also, if you're using one of these brands, or not using one of these brands, that's one of those spray aerosol cans that I really, I really, really like. I feel like they cover my skin much better than just kind of the lotions do. Um, make sure you really read the ingredients on those because it's really easy to ingest something, you know, that kind of mist, I will call it, much like hairspray as well. You need to make sure hairsprays don't contain wheat. Um, also, that's my big topic about the sunscreen, but just a little snack, I some snack ideas to take to the beach. I was thinking some um, rice cakes. Quaker now labels theirs gluten-free, and they're low-cal and um, tasty, and you can spread a little nut butter on that, or bring um, some bagged tuna, not the canned tuna, that would be a little bit harder, but the, the tuna in a bag is a good thing to put on for a little extra protein. Apples and bananas, always good to have fruit. Um, string cheese for a little extra protein. Remember, cheese does melt, obviously, eat that first. And lots and lots of water and some juice in moderation. And I'm a big stickler for organic, so Honest Kids is a great organic um, juice box, gluten free juice bag, I guess, juice pouch, um, gluten free line. So I would try that, pack a little snack for the beach, and if you're like me, maybe a gluten-free beer too. So hope everyone's doing well out there. I hope you're planning a trip trip to the beach soon. I'm itching to go there right now. So hope everyone's doing well. As always, it's from have not to have and gluten-free dining and life for that matter. Thanks for watching.